Guys, in this video, you will learn to connect two incredibly useful applications to save your time, reduce manual work, and to streamline your customer's data. So guys, if you are running any membership website or any subscription-based service, you can use Pabli subscription billing application to manage your subscriptions and recurring payments. And to store the data of your customers, you can use a database management application that is Airtable. And if you're also using these two applications, you can use this automation that I'm going to show you. Here we are going to integrate Pabli subscription billing with Airtable in such a way that whenever you add a new customer in Pabli subscription billing, the data of that customer will be stored separately in a base in Airtable automatically without any manual copy pasting. So it will save an immense amount of your time and you will have a separate base for your customer's data. And we can set up this whole automation without any coding super easily. So let's get started. So guys, this is the dashboard of our in integration tool that is Pabli Connect, okay? And you can reach here from the link given in the description. From the link, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month, okay? And after signing up, you can sign in to reach here. And from here, click on this Create Workflow button. And here you have to provide a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So here I have given this name to the workflow and here I'm clicking on create button and you can see the workflow page is started loading up here. And on this page guys, you will find the basic building blocks of the automation, which are uh, the trigger and the actions. So guys trigger here is that event which starts the workflow and the actions are the automated responses of the trigger. So you can have many automated actions for a particular trigger. Here, when I click on this trigger section, it asks to choose a trigger application first where the trigger event is occurring, okay? In our use case, guys, we are adding a customer in Pabli subscription billing and that is going to trigger this workflow and the response would be to add the date of that customer in a table, okay? So here in this trigger, first of all, search for Pabli, that is P-A-B-B-L-Y. Pabli subscription billing. Here it is selected. Then select the trigger event as a new customer. Okay. And it will give you this webhook URL. So guys, with the help of this URL, we are going to create a connection with Pabli subscription billing and the trigger by following these steps written here. Okay. Then we are going to capture the response of this connection on this URL. Okay. Let me show you just go to your subscription billing that is psb application this is my pabli subscription billing dashboard and uh, here i'm at, are my products and here is the customer section i am under right now in the customer section and uh, on this left hand side panel when you scroll down you will find this settings option click on settings under the settings page you will find this webhooks tab right here click on webhooks and here click on this add webhook button to create a new webhook based connection okay so here it will ask to enter a new uh, webhook name so i am going to enter customers data and here you can set this uh, connection for all of your products or you can select any of the products that you are uh, selling also so let me select this product okay right then here it will ask you to select for all plans or for basic plans. So you can select all the things you can customize this connection. And uh, here you have to enter the webhook URL that you got from your workflow. So just copy this webhook URL, click on copy and it will be copied. And here it will start showing waiting for the response. This means now this webhook URL started listening to the connection that you are creating. And after cre creating the connection, uh, when you are going to add a new customer, the data of that customer will be captured here. Okay, let me show you. First of all, paste the URL here, here in this web, webhook URL field like this. Okay, then click on, uh, then uh, scroll down and here it will ask to select a particular event on which you want that the data should be sent from Pabli subscription billing to your workflow. So here guys, I want to send the data whenever I create a new customer or a new customer get created uh, through any other options, okay, available. So here you can see we have this create customer option. So check this box, then scroll down. 
here you can create this connection for uh, all other events as well. Right now I'm selecting only one event. Then click on save and your connection will be completed. Okay, like this. And here you can see when the connection will be completed here, this response is will be received. Okay, event type a test webhook URL. Okay, now guys, click on this recapture webhook response button. Then click on yes one more time and it will start waiting for the response again. Okay. Now it is time to perform a test submission. Test submission means now I'm going to manually create a customer in PSB. And as I'm going to create it, the data of that customer will be fetched here in the response section. And with the help of that test data, we are going to move forward on to the next steps. Okay. Now let me just go back to my Pabli subscription billings customer section. Here I'm going to manually create a customer by clicking on this add customer button here. Uh, let me fill the name of the customer. Let's say uh, new last name is customer. First name is new last name is customer. Similarly, I am going to map the email address of the new customer like this. So these are not original details. I'm just uh, entering random details to create a test customer here. This is a dummy phone number. Right here, it will ask to uh, select the country. Let me select India, city, state, you can select all the things. All right, so after filling the de required details, just click on save here and your uh, customer profile will be created like this. Okay. Now let's check in our workflow if we got the data. And here you can see guys, we have received the response. And in this response, you can you will find the event as customer underscore create. Okay, that was the selected event. And here you can see the email address of the customer. And the date on which we have added the customer, the phone number, the last name, the first name, everything will be fetched here, city in country, everything. Okay. Now we got the test data in these labels here. And whenever we, we add a customer, we want to send the data to Airtable. So the action would be to send the customer's data to Airtable. So in the action window, search for Airtable application as the action application and the action event would be create record. Okay. Then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection. And here it will ask you to enter the uh, personal access token of a table to make this connection. So to get the personal ac access token, you need to create a new token following these steps written here. Okay. So let me show you how you can do this. First of all, open your base. And under uh, this is my a tables base. And from here, you will find the profile icon on the top right, click on it. Under profile icon, you will find the developer hub option, click on developer hub. Here you can create a new personal access token by clicking on this create new token button. Here you have to provide a suitable name to your token. So you can enter any name I'm entering the name as let's say customers details. Okay, then here it will ask to add a scope. So click on add a scope button. And here select the scopes all the scope except this except this one. Do not select this block colon manage scope. Otherwise select all the scopes. So let me select all the scopes one by one. Right. So I have selected all these scopes. Then you have to provide the access uh, to your base that you have created in which you want to enter the data. So to provide the access to the base, just click on this add a base option here. Select this all current and future bases in the workspace. Okay. So you can select uh, all option or you can select a particular base as well. Right now I'm selecting all the option, all current bases option. Okay. And then click on this create token button. And here's how the token will be generated. You just have to copy this token and paste it here in this field like this and click on save and you'll be connected with Airtable application. Okay. 
right so we are now connected guys and here it, it is now asking to select the base's name in which you want to save the data so let me show you uh, the the base i am using here is my dashboard and this is the base i am using to store my psb customers data so the name of my base is psb customers so let me just select it from here search for your base's name select it okay and here you can see it is asking to select the table id so the table id is table one okay it is automatically populated right then here it is asking for the first name last name phone number city email address these are the headers of the columns i have here in the base so to get the data here in these headers you need to map the values of these headers here in the workflow so to map the data i am going to use the data that i have received here in the first step so here i have received these labels in which we have received some data so let me map the details here one by one for the first name just click here <clears throat> and the previous step will appear here in the drop down and when you click on it you will find the data right here so from here you can um, uh, just select this first name label to map it similarly select the last name label so guys i have mapped all the required details okay and then we have the save and send test request button by clicking on it you can send this data to here in this table okay let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request button and let's see how the data will appear inside the base this is the response i have received let's check here if we got the data and let refresh the base and here you can see guys we have received the data like this new customer and all the details are same as i have filled as I've entered in Pebbly subscription billing and mapped the data here. So this is how it is going to work guys. So our connection is working fine and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this only once. After that, it will work automatically whenever you are going to add a new uh, a customer in PSB or you are going to get a customer from anywhere else. The workflow will trigger and save the data of your customer in your a tables base automatically and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.